I'm Andrew from Team 5454, Dent in the Universe in Orlando, Florida. A recent rule change this year allows for the use of Anderson connectors. Anderson connectors allow for a more efficient distribution of power along with a less cluttered and more easy to maintain wiring system. If you look at the old wiring system, or the traditional wiring system, you have your battery distributing power to your motor controller, your motors, and finally your Samantha. Due to the use of different things, uh, power can spike or drop, and the Samantha is very sensitive to these things, which is why during the middle of a match your Samantha will reset itself occasionally. Um, but with the Anderson power pole connectors, um, you have one input for your power, and then your other seven outputs allow for equal distribution to every output, so you no longer have a series circuit, you have a parallel circuit. To make your Anderson connectors, the first step is to remove the ends off your wires, like so. Then you're going to split the wires down the middle. After you make your initial cut, pry the wires and bend them to make sure that your individual leads are about 3 quarters of an inch long. Then strip about 3 sixteenths of an inch of the insulation off the wire. After this, twist your leads to make sure all the wires are grouped together and you have no fraying. Then take your metal Anderson connector part and slip it over the wire. This is where having your wires twisted right helps. As you can see, I had trouble putting the Anderson metal over the wire because the wires were starting to fray. When crimping your wires, the awkward black box on the side of the crimping tool is where you will set your Anderson connector to ensure that it sets properly and crimps right. You take your wire that has the connector in it, insert the flat end of the connector into the box as shown, and then crimp your wires. You do one wire at a time. Once again, make sure that the flat tab of your Anderson connector is properly inserted into the black box before crimping. After you have crimped your leads, you no longer need the crimping tool. Then take the plastic housing for your leads and place them over your leads until you hear a click. This means that the plastic housing is firmly set in place. Here you can see the two connectors slide together with grooves cut in the side of each connector. As you can see here, I reversed the red and black wires. The connectors still fit, even when reversed. When doing this for your robot, be sure that the red and black go to the corresponding colors, as you can see here. This ensures that you never mix up your connections. In conclusion, the Anderson power pole connectors have worked great for us so far this year. We hope that you have great results using them too. Best of luck to you from Team 5454 Dent in the Universe. And if you are interested in getting the power poles, some of the links in the description can help you. We are not affiliated with any of the companies.